Alexi Depressor is a Sydney clarinetist who battles with both the physical and mental stresses of playing in professional orchestras. You get very kind of nervous and you find it very hard to relax, I think, all of the time, especially for auditions, and you'll spend months working towards an audition, play, feel like you won't, you won't do well, and then just kind of break down kind of thing. New research conducted by professors Diana Kenny and Bronwyn Ackerman from the University of Sydney shows that professional orchestral musicians suffer from high levels of pain and performance anxiety. One of the um, interesting issues is that musicians who have very high music performance anxiety have to express that tension somewhere and uh, for most musicians it's expressed in the striated muscles, that's the large muscle groups in the arms and, and legs and torso and so on. Um, and storing that amount of tension related to the anxiety on top of the tension that they need to hold their instruments in, a, in strange positions um, really compounds the whole problem. I have kind of you know, had like felt very kind of strained in my arms and had kind of, um, I guess quite often I'll get pains in my right arm because you hold the clarinet in this kind of position and it's almost a kilo so I guess over an extended period of time you start to feel a kind of bit of has a bit of duress on your arm. So I'll get pains kind of shooting through my arm here. General Manager of Sydney Youth Orchestra's Bernie Hurd believes the audition process is one cause of the findings. To, to go through the process of uh, auditioning for a professional panel is, is a very stressful thing. You can put in months and months of effort and work all for seven minutes in front of a panel. And the, the pressures of doing so um, on a, in an audition when you are performing for people for whom you have great respect and, and that you elevate uh, you know, to a very high level um, can be a very stressful thing. For Alexi, one particular audition kick-started his experiences with performance anxiety. I, I just remember, you know, there was so much preparation leading up to it. I was getting quite stressed and everything. And I remember getting into this exam, uh, getting into this audition, and then just racing like nothing else. I couldn't breathe properly. I felt like I was going to hyperventilate. And then I just had to play and do this whole audition. And you'll practice a certain way of breathing too. When you play your pieces, you breathe here, you breathe there. And in this audition, it all went kind of out the window. Um, and I remember just being so distraught. While 84% of the 377 musicians surveyed were found to have suffered from performance hindering pain, Professor Ackerman found that many of the players' injuries were preventable. There are a lot of ways to um, approach it better. Sadly, we, we did one trial where we had a lot of experienced physiotherapists go into the orchestras and uh, provide assessment um, appointments, if you like, so people could come and ask about injuries. And out of that, they said 96% of injuries were completely preventable, treatable, manageable, which is a bit of a concern given how many injuries there are and how long they last. Miss Hurd believes the prevention stage needs to begin at a younger age something she has been working towards at the Sydney Youth Orchestras. I think as a youth orchestra we have a great responsibility to ensure that the musicians of the future are very aware of how to look after their bodies and how to prepare for the incredible mental stresses that are ahead of them should they choose to follow a path of a career in music. One of the other really important skills is, is developing that resilience for them and that, that is something that can't be understated I think for young musicians. I guess just be kind of smart about it, make sure you always stretch before you play. I think a lot of people just, I'm kind of guilty of this lately especially of not kind of stretching before you play, and especially if you're going to go for extended periods, you know, of hours of playing. But yeah, making sure you stretch, or maybe regularly see physios. I think it's very important to make sure you have your breaks, you relax and yeah, try and take all the tension out of your playing. There's a fairly archaic view in music that if it hurts you either keep going and pretend it's not there or you stop doing anything for two months and hope it goes away, neither of which work. What we're starting to see is people taking much more proactive, educated um, uh, responses to things if they happen or a lot of them are choosing now to be more active and we're giving them resources to help them know how to be safely active if you like, not, not overload 
parts of their body that are already working hard. This is Luke Cooper, UTS News.